My name is Frank Gore. I'm the running back for Carl Gables High School. I rushed for 377 yards, a six touchdown. My goal is to get 2,000 yards and win a state championship this year. That may be reachable for this determined Carl Gable senior. Running back Frank Gore ran through South Miami High like a 5 foot 11 inch freight train last week, setting an all county rushing record while carrying the Cavaliers in turn. It's fun to watch him. Frank Gore is, you know, you give him the ball and watching him do his thing is just like, you know, when he breaks that line of scrimmage, it's just Frank Gore doing his thing. Frank's speed and power leave linebackers scratching their heads, but opposing defenses are the least of his concerns. He's in our, you know, ESC, which is our learning disabled uh, program. And when he first came to Gables, he was probably reading about a third or fourth grade level. I read something and I like just, just get up my mind and just go somewhere else. Frank has specific learning disability, or SLD, a condition that makes it difficult for him to understand what he's reading. Problems in school got him into trouble before football helped him focus. My counselor used to help me when I was in middle school, and I used to get into trouble and stuff. She just told me I, if I want to be a football player, that I got to start getting in trouble and I start listening to her. As much as he's motivated as a football player, he's probably more motivated to prove everyone wrong about what he can achieve in the classroom. I could practice, I catch a metro rail on a bus to go to my teacher house and to give me tutoring on like the SAT test, my homework, but now I'm in more regular classes. I'm get, picking my grades up since my, I got tutoring from my coaches. They help me get tutoring, they help me out like study hall and all the other class and things like that. While he keeps his studies up in school, Frank takes on additional responsibilities at home, helping out his sick mother. She on that she got she on dialysis. She go three times a week. She got raised. She raising four 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 kids by herself. Drugs and crime are a reality in his Coconut Grove neighborhood. The mean streets can be seductive, but Frank chooses the highway. I seen a lot of people like who was doing, like keep doing in my position that do, was doing good in high school, breaking your records and doing like had thousand yards, and I see I went to jail. So I'm trying to live off that mistake and do better things what they did. I'm working hard, trying to get my books and everything right. All his hard work is paying off. Frank is fielding offers from several major colleges and universities. Which makes you prouder, your uh, efforts on the field or efforts in the classroom? I, I say efforts in the classroom because I know I, what I can do on the field. Because I didn't know that I, I'll get the high reading so fast. I think other people around him want to help him because they see what he's doing to help himself. He said, I think I can be a pretty good football player, but I know in order to be a, you know, to achieve the things that I want to do, I'm going to have to learn to read better. I'm going to have to work harder in the classroom. And all these people who said I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm in a special program, let them come watch me when I graduate. Let them come watch me in college and let them come watch me play on Sundays.